do you think that the U.S. job is the same as PSG? And what I mean by that is that Pochettino is almost doomed to fail because of the ask here. I'm kind of going to dodge this question and I'll get right back to it, but people will say classic, even if it is, even if it is, even if it's the exact same, right? Even if it's a poison chalice curse to fail, Pochettino gets there and he does poorly, theoretically. Hopefully he doesn't. But if he gets there, people will say it's his fault. They will not blame it on the U.S. They will say it's his fault. So I think, personally, I'm shocked that he's here. They must be paying him a bag because what a risk. What a risk. I mean, this man is looking to fast track himself to coach in Saudi Arabia because they'll pay him a bag too. And if this goes poorly, mm-hmm. that's where he'll be headed. Um, yes. Do I think that it's the same? No, I don't think it's the same. I think you can do things with this team. I think there has been a long-standing tradition. There's been a long-standing tradition of poorly equipping this team to do well, either with the coaches that you select, the environment that you put the players in, the expectations you put on the players, or what, potentially the way that you set them up, right? It is just, there's always been some glaring issue. Now, if this guy comes in, And he just does everything, you know, set it up like you would on FIFA. Set it up like you would on FIFA. I guarantee you, you see at least a slight uptick there. Steady the ship. Steady the ship. And then that poison chalice, watch it. Watch it dissipate. Watch it dissipate. At least for me. That's my opinion. For me, the poison chalice narrative, it goes away if you are able to just hold it down. If you complete any one of those objectives that we listed out before for exceptional performance, if you're able to compete away from home, if you're able to go to Morocco and put on a damn good performance, I don't care if it's a draw or if you go, if you go, if you you shoot, screw it. Let's say you go to Spain, you're playing in Madrid. If you take Spain three to two in Spain, I'm here for the conversation. I'm buying in. I'm willing to invest a little bit more. Yeah. Yeah. I hear what you're saying. I I'm going to disagree right off the bat. Okay. I, I disagree because maybe how I look at it is up into the, the big fish here is the World Cup, right? I think yeah. Pochettino has almost nothing to gain from now until the 2026 World Cup. He wins the Gold Cup. Who cares? You're supposed to. He wins the Nations League. Who cares? You've won it three times in a row. Now you're just number four. Ain't nothing special about you. You're not even on the podium, you know, for keeping it to the Olympic metaphor. You get to, let's say he's he's got the opportunity for a couple friendlies in Europe. He has to win. He has to win. He can get some draws in there, but if he doesn't win, then it's, oh gosh, where the signature wins. If he beats Mexico, it's, Okay, well, you've been beating Mexico since 2019 was the last time you lost. Who cares? You beat Canada, it's, okay, they got Jesse Marsh and they had a cute Copa America, but you're supposed to beat Canada. You don't gain anything by that. Do we even need to mention Costa Rica, Jamaica, or Panama? I don't think so. He's got nothing to gain from that. He has to beat, he's got to win every trophy at every tournament the US, U.S. participates in, or they're going to they're gonna put the bottle job narrative back out there. And he's got to beat elite teams that Burhalter never beat. Because if he doesn't, then he's the same as Burhalter. And he's got to make the quarters minimum at the World Cup. If he doesn't, if the U.S. gets eliminated in the round of 16, it was all for naught. I don't care if he won the Gold Cup and won the Nations League. So I think it is a bit more of a pickle and a bit more of a dilemma for Pochettino personally. Not the U.S. necessarily, but for Pochettino personally, then maybe I... Maybe I thought when I heard the news, I think I knew. And that's why I I, like, I I know, I know that it is a dangerous job. Everybody thinks that, Uh, frankly, that's why I thought Irv Renard was going to be a front runner because one, they're going to pay him a bag and two, but he's got the pedigree already. They know he can do it at an international level, right? And there's still interest. Mm -hmm. So if he does poorly in the United States, he goes off to a country that, you know, is going to treat him right. Pochettino's had a couple bad appointments. 
dude took a break. Nobody knows where he's been. He's been out. Like the the momentum that he had is now pushing him. Yes, I saw that coming from a mile away. That's why it's such a shock because nobody thinks he's going to take it, right? And he was never in the – he was never counted for this. He never expressed interest. So your first international venture, your first blockbuster international venture is going to be – this you know historically difficult job yeah i don't know but dude i also think that other countries will want him saudi arabia is going to want him worst case you go back to argentina and you build up from there right dude's just looking to collect a bag right now and frankly listen he left tottenham where they weren't helping him at all he went to chelsea which we see the disaster that it is now was that his fault i don't think so dude's just looking for a good appointment somewhere that's going to treat him right i bet you they pulled out the balakan treatment and they did the exact same thing. They marketed this. I don't know how much blame the international community will give him at large. Will it damage my personal opinion of him? Yes, I'll be heartbroken. I'll be heartbroken if this doesn't go at least moderately well. Yeah. But is he dead in the water? I don't know. I don't know. It would, it would, it would have to take a disaster. This would have to go down like the Hindenburg for him to be dead in the water. I want people to let us know in the comments, but I'm going to define moderately well as Gold Cup Nations League retained one friendly win against a big team away. I don't care who yeah. it is. Pick somebody from the top 20 in quarter quarterfinals. Damn, that's... Quarterfinals or, or round of 16. I think that would be semi-well. Quarterfinals. quarterfinals for me. He, he gets quarterfinals. Honestly, it's hard to say that's a failure. Take take everything else. Take everything else away. Yeah. Semis. Semis, and you lose everything else. I don't give a damn. You're good. I also agree. I think the semifinal World Cup, who cares what happened at, at everything else? Now, I think that that is the absolute ceiling. Like, that is a dream scenario. Dream. I still think a very optimistic scenario is the quarterfinals. Semis. Yeah. Let's let's remember we're talking about the World Cup here. So this isn't my expectation. I I God, I can already read the comments. I do not yeah. believe that they will make it to the semis. But that is the dream. Semis is he is goaded US manager. Yeah. He makes it to the semis, best manager of all time, best US men's national team of all time. Full stop. Boom. Cemented. Cemented. Yep. I mean the legacy and you could, on the line. You could for lose him and Lose everything else. Drop a game to Canada. <clears throat> drop a game to Mexico. Lose the Nations League. Lose everything. You make it to the semis. Greatest. Greatest ever. Yeah. Mm. Y'all, let us know what you think down below in the comments.